I say there's an awesome new free energy device uh, test out there that was uploaded a few hours ago. But first, a shout out for angry, not so old hippie. Dude, what the fuck? You built a magnet powered motor that doesn't work? Well, duh. You have to consult the spirits first, dude. So, if you're going to violate the laws of physics that govern the universe, you have to ask the spirits for advice. Try to get your machine to work, right? What do we have? Well, <clears throat> I tell you, it doesn't look good. And the spirits were right. Let's take a look. And, uh, let's see, I got the, uh, 20 pound statter otherwise known as a flywheel or sorry rotor and I got this on here and I haven't given a, sp a spin yet to see what's supposed to work the idea is that I'm utilizing uh, centrifugal force coupled with centripetal force the inward force by having these magnets bounce back and turn this as it goes into the repulsion zone which would start here and I like the idea, which I mentioned in the comment section for this video. I make a suggestion um, to the sons of Tesla.com person who made this device and the video. Take two chicken eggs, boil one until it's nice and cooked inside, and let it cool. Spin both of them and see what happens. Okay, you did that? No doubt, you have noticed that the cooked egg spins a hell of a lot faster given the same or similar amount of energy to rotate it than the uncooked egg. There's a reason for that, and that applies to your device. Um, I think your device is awesome, like I said in my uh, comments on your video. Really clever, really ingenious actually. I think it is um, an excellent attempt at making a perpetual motion device, a free energy device. Unfortunately, it's been tried before, um, not only using sliding magnets, but also sliding weights, um, floating, uh, flotation devices inside and outside to kind of push the device beyond what they call the um, gate in a magnetic um, attempt at free energy. Uh, compressed air, wound up coils. As far as I know, I've never seen your particular device here, so you definitely get two thumbs up for being um, creative and ingenious. Shall we continue? The idea is that the magnets get bounced back, push it around, say, let's get out of here, let's get out of here, this, this is the repulsion zone, we don't want to be in here, let's get into the attraction zone. Two of them will be doing that, while two of them are going into the attraction zone and hitting here. Plus two minus two equals what? Maybe this will tell you why it doesn't work. I don't know if it's going to work, it's probably not going to work because it's impossible. And that is why I give you a thumb up for your video. You know it's impossible, but there's value even if you know that it's impossible, even if you're building it, because it's fun. And if you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong. But I'm hoping I can get it up to an optimum speed where it'll overcome any, uh, well, overcome the inertia and negative resistance of the repulsion zone. You know, if you took all of the magnets out, it would spin a hell of a lot longer. At least I'm showing you what I'm doing. Okay, let's give it a spin. The pistons are pumping. That's definitely slowing down. It's 
slowing down. And of course I am very sincere when I say that I'm sorry that your device didn't work. It obvious, um, from what I can tell in the video, you put a whole lot of time and effort and money into your device. And I wish that it had worked. If I could somehow change the laws of physics, I would change them so that your device would work, so that you'd be happier and your effort would be um, more than what you got out of the joy of building the device. But don't let failure stop you. Think of the years and years and years that you can continue working on this device. Have a lot of fun doing it. Maybe donate it to a museum someday. In the meantime, talk to Angry Not So Hippie and see what the spirits have to say next time when you have an idea of how to modify your device. I'm sure they will have very valuable input to add um, for $10 fee.